Tishik is here, you know, and our ambassador is here. Tishik, come out of here, man. This is a guy who uh, has become, I don't want to hurt his reputation politically, but in addition to us being allies, uh, we're also friends. It's a good man right here. And by the way, Claire Stone, come here, Claire. Anyway, thank you the time I ran, a 26 year old guy for the county, for the council, and then as a senator, I had overwhelming support from the American firefighters. And there's an expression God made man, then he made a few firefighters. But anybody who's wired, Jerry. Because who else is crazy enough to run into a fire? By the way, I was raised in a little town called Claymont, Delaware. When we moved in Strand, Pennsylvania. And Claymont, Delaware is an old steel town. And I went to, my sister and I and brother went to a little captain school called Holy Rosary. And uh, right across the street was the Claymont Fire Hall. Everybody I grew up with either became a cop, a firefighter, or a priest. I couldn't qualify for any, so here I am. That's all I got here. Anyway, thank you all. Thank you, thank you, Sabrina. And by who are these guys over here? Who are these guys? Holy oh, crap, look at all these. Hi, guys, how are you? Well, maybe for you. How you all doing? How are you? Thank you. How are you doing? Can I, uh, uh, I sign in a minute? I don't want to do it right now. I promise I'll sign. Well, good to see you guys. It's chilly? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I think <laughs> you're not chilly. Well, I tell you what, thank you all so very much. And by the way, all the parents, I want to thank you because, you know, being working in an embassy, everybody thinks track home is pretty glamorous. But I don't want you don't want to be around the day you got to walk home and tell your 13 year old kids we're not going back to the same school. We got to stop hitting that girl you were with, and that boy you loved very much. It's not going to be around. So I want to thank the kids too. I really mean it. Thank you, thank you, thank you for taking care of your moms and dads. Thank you. Any of you guys want to ask me any questions? What do you want to ask me? Oh, Air Force. There's her. Look at this. Air Force One. Right here. That's pretty question. Yeah, he's got a question. What's your, what's your question? Was it called what? Was it called what? Trusted topics. Steps is sex to selling. Or making sure that we don't all have COVID. What, why, what are you talking about? Right, it's a success. Like, what's the, what's the, what's the key to success? Because the key to success. You know what I found out the key to success is? And I'm not sure I'm the best guy to explain it. These guys can say, these successes, whenever you disagree with someone, it's okay to question their judgment, whether they're right or wrong. But it's never okay to question their motive. When you question their motive, then you never get to be able to agree. For example, if you say to somebody, the reason why you don't agree with me is because you are stupid, you are bad, you are... You're, you, you just don't like the people I like. Instead of saying, I just didn't, didn't tell you why, I disagree with you because of the following thing. Because once you question somebody's motive, why they're doing something, because you don't know, in fact, what happens after that, you can never get in a you can get together. I learned that lesson a long time. I say that to all the embassy folks, too. I learned that a long time ago. There was a guy named Jesse Helms. 
from South, South Carolina, from North Carolina, South Carolina, or North Carolina. And he was a very conservative guy who was very, very, not very crazy about African Americans when he got to He was all, we always had fights. And one day I was going into the United States Senate, and Jesse Helms said, was on, on the floor of the Senate saying some terrible things about Fred Kennedy and Bob Dole, the Republican leader, who both had introduced a bill for making sure people with disabilities have access, curb trucks, access to buses, all these things. It's called the American Jews with Disabilities Act. And what happened was, I was very upset when I walked in to go see the majority leader when I heard this debate. And fortunately, I was more afraid of the majority leader being late than, than I was says what would call. I walked in, and I guess I looked like I was angry. And he looked at me and he said, what's the matter, Joe? I was 32 years old. And I said, when I went on about Jesse Holmes, that he had no social redeeming value, how could he possibly say things like that and couldn't believe it? And he looked at me and he said, Joe, what would you say if I told you that Jesse Helms in 1970 sitting in his knitting room with his wife, Doc, in Raleigh, we're reading the paper. There was a photograph of a young man in crutches, 16 years old, and bracelet, from under his arm all the way down to his ankle, and two steel crutches. And I said, what would be a nail or just an advertisement for a, 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 an organ? And he said, all I want is someone to take me home for Christmas and walk it. So what would you say to if I told you they adopted that young man? Should I feel fully the way did adopt? If they did adopt them, and I said, and I went and apologized to Jesse Hill because the idea that I disagreed with everything he said, but when he suggested he was doing it and he didn't care about me with the disabilities, is wrong, but the motor never did that again. That's a long answer, a real question. <laughs> yes. My dog is doing well. <laughs> that is Commander. Yeah, what was your dog? Louie. Louie, oh, right. Guys, thank you. What's your name? It's a beautiful name. I need sour. How old are you guys? I Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Stay safe. All right. Okay. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.